Chapter 5 deals with flowing pipes. It's a short chapter and it's a very simple topic in principle. But in practice, flows and pipes are complicated enough that they allow us to see quite a few interesting things about fluid flows in general. Um, the most important of those is the onset of turbulence. And so we'll try hard to see which parameters allow us to predict the transition from laminar to turbulent flow. Fluid flows and pipes are also very interesting because they provide us with a relatively simple example uh, to see what the Navier-Stokes equations allow us to predict, and especially what they do not allow us to predict in practice. There are two questions you may think about as you prepare for chapter five. The first is a thought experiment. Imagine that there's a pipe going from this side to that side here, and the pipe has varying cross sections. So it's a very narrow at first, it becomes larger and narrow again. And you take the simplest, the absolute simplest possible flow case you can imagine for this pipe. That is a fluid that flows with a very steady, very smooth flow across, across the pipe. Narrows, um, expands, and then narrows again. The question is, how does pressure vary as the fluid goes from one side to the other side of the pipe? How does pressure change along the length? It's a pretty good recap question, so you may even try it before you open the lecture notes. Um, think about the relationship we've seen before between pressure, shear, gravity, and velocity. The second question is, there is no second question. I wish you a very happy preparation, and I'll see you for Chapter 5 next Thursday.